In this video, we'll go over the Macrochasm Weekly Challenge or the Planets Encounter from the Root of Nightmare Raid. If you're unfamiliar on how to do this encounter, feel free to check out my link in the description to my guide to this encounter. So this encounter challenge is similar to the actual mechanics, but with a little bit of a twist. So normally, let's say you start on the dark side. On the dark side, you're going to have two planets. If you're the runner, you're gonna have two planets that are dark and one that's light. And you take the light one across, put it on the light on the other side. And basically you're, you're connecting all the light planets on the light side and all the dark planets on the dark side. To switch this out, the goal of the encounter now is to do something a little bit different. You're gonna at the end want all the dark planets on the light side and all the light planets on the dark side. Now there are multiple ways to do this. Probably the easiest way to do this in this case is in, is to basically have your runners, all four runners, basically on the top or bottom side. So thinking about that, you would have instead of doing it where you have you know two folks on the bottom and two folks on the top, you'd have two folks on the right and two folks on the left. And they're basically exchanging the two dark and light planets between the two sides. Then once you're done with that, because again, you do have a second phase to do this in, you go to the bottom and do the same thing. So you start at the bottom, you stop at the top, either way, that's ultimately what you need to do. The goal is, regardless of how you do it, all the dark planets on the light side, all the light planets on the dark side. And one way you can speed this up is in the middle of the encounter room, there's a little nut in the middle. If you've went ahead and everyone has swapped everything over, right? So both the people on the top and the bottom have both done that. All four runners have swapped their planets. You can actually have someone shoot the nut in the middle to advance the encounter and start the next set Centurion showing up. One of the reasons you might want to do this is if you're running out of time. But that's really a challenge, guys. Pretty simple, just requires a little more coordination. Finish that and you get your extra loot. That's the video. If you liked the video, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.